Well, if you're looking for an authentic cut and shave, the House of Barons is definitely the place to come. Allow me to introduce Charles Mubarak, House of Barons Barber. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm great, how are you? Good, how long have you been a barber for? I've been barbering for 16 years. Okay, where did you start? I started in the east side of Ottawa in Orleans. And who taught you? I learned from a gentleman named Bruno Carloni. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine over the last 16 years, Charles, you probably worked in a number of different places. And you seem to have a particular liking for House of Barons. Why do you love it so much? I love this place, the, uh, the atmosphere, the gentlemen I work with, the quality of cuts and shaves we do here mm -hmm. is fantastic. All right. It's a lot about the experience, eh? It really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. So what's special about your barber chair? My chair here is made in 1907 in St. Louis by Koken. Um, it's traveled from St. Louis to Chicago, Chicago to Toronto, and Toronto to Pickering mm -hmm. and now to Ottawa. So it's been to a, to a number of different places. It has, the years. it has. I can just imagine the stories told on this chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's very, very true. <laughs> okay, so now one thing that's kind of unique about the shop is that you're allowed to decorate your station however you'd like. Correct. Is that different from some of the other places that you've um, worked at? Most places would like it clear and clean mm -hmm. over here. I mean, it's our, we put a touch of our personality in it. Mm -hmm. Well, because it's not just quality barbers that are hired here at the shop, eh? It's a lot about your personality. It sure is. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk to one of the three owners. We've got uh, we've got Frankie. How uh, how has your morning been? Oh, it's been fun. It's and been really great. How long have you been cutting hair for? I've been cutting hair for 10 years, but I started sweeping floors at 8 mm -hmm. um, and shampooing hair at 14. So I've got my father in the chair with me here, so he was my mentor going through. So. So it was under his supervision that you began sweeping the floor. Yeah, and just surrounded by the industry and the atmosphere mm -hmm. um, my whole life. And it's one that I, you know, I, I can't see myself living without. It's one of the best industries in the world. One of the, mm -hmm. you know, I feel very fortunate to do, to do what I do every day. And why did you feel that Ottawa was missing an authentic barber shop? Because it was, um, you know, uh, just from walking, walking through neighborhoods and talking to men. And there's definitely been a resurgence. Mm -hmm. um, for and um, men are starting to ask for that kind of service again mm -hmm. so there is definitely a need for this and it's not just fueled by a need it's fueled by a passion so we all three of us dom jesse and i were truly passionate about bringing back that old school feeling where mm -hmm. men can fully be treated like men and a place where they can call a home outside of their homes and we're uh, we're really happy that we made this happen so what is the nickname that these three chairs have so the nickname of these three chairs which dom coined i love it is uh, we have our blonde our redhead and our brunette. So uh, each chair obviously is from a different era. They have different characteristics. Mm -hmm. We have a chair right over there that um, was in the Chateau Laurier barbershop at one point in time. So uh, a lot of history to the chairs. Uh, I'm sure it'd be cool to know what kind of people have sat in them and mm -hmm. like Charles said, what kind of conversations were held in them. So um, uh, the, whole, the whole salon is uh, designed, the whole barbershop is designed around pieces uh, that have a history that tell story. And uh, I think that was, that's what makes it personal. And talk about history. I mean, take a look at the uh, the cash register here. Yeah, that's uh, authentic if there ever was one. Yeah, solid nickel cash register still works. Hey, Adam, give it a punch. There we go. So uh, a lot of really cool things. So when you come in here, there's always something that's gonna mm -hmm. draw your attention. Uh, something that you can you know learn learn a little bit about the history of the place or different artifacts that are in, in here, and they're also personal. So okay. yeah. So how do people make sure that they get a spot? Well, it's a walk-in. We take walk-ins, so mm -hmm. um, you know you come in whenever you're free, and we'll do our best to accommodate you in a timely manner. Great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much for having My us pleasure. this morning. My pleasure. What a place. It's Head to great. the House of Barons Facebook page to learn all of the information, or pop by. We're here at 481 Sussex Drive.